Hello, this is Tom Spark from best10vpn.com. Today we're going to be talking about VPN kill switches. So a lot of people use VPNs for torrenting. The reason is that when you torrent, you are torrenting on something like Qubit Torrent, you torrent booze or any other torrent app there, your IP is public. So VPNs and also proxies give you a new shared anonymous IP address, which makes it so internet service providers and copyright companies cannot email you or track your you know usage and VPNs encrypt your internet traffic so internet service providers can't really know you're using peer-to-peer -peer traffic and they can't shape your bandwidth where does the VPN kill switch come into play well you use a VPN so that your IP is changed like I just mentioned and your traffic is encrypted However, if your VPN crashes or disconnects for some reason, your IP can leak from your torrent app. So some VPNs have these tools called kill switches built into their apps that protect your data from leaking out. In essence, you can think of a kill switch like a fail safe. So there's two types of kill switches. We have application kill switches, which terminate your application when your VPN turns off. And then you have network kill switches, which terminates your internet connection when your VPN turns off. So today we're going to be showing you how to use both applications in a VPN app called TorGuard. Now we aren't sponsored by TorGuard, but we do like using them since they are a good VPN provider and they have most of the features we want to talk about for tutorial videos like this. So here we go. We got our TorGuard app open. So we're gonna show you how to use the application kill switch first. You're going to click on more settings. You're going to go to the application kill. And this is where you're going to type in a nickname. So it doesn't really matter what you type here. You just type it. You click add. And then you're going to select from a drop down of files here from your di different files that you have on your computer. And then you're going to select your torrent app. So as you can see, I'm using Qubit Torrent. And I will bring it up right now to show you an example of how it would work. All right, so we have Qubit Torn here. We're going to save the kill switch. We're going to connect. So here we go. We turn the VPN on. We have our torrenting app on. And now you're going to load in your file here. You have the VPN connected, so it's going to start downloading. And then, so for example, say it turns off somehow, whatever happens. You're going to click disconnect. And then, as you can see, the application gets killed, so hence kill switch. Now let's talk about the network kill switch. So what I'm going to do is click more settings, go to network, go to manage interface state, internet kill switch. So you're going to select the interface. Now you're going to select which internet port you want to use. So this is going to be the internet port that manages your internet and controls how you access the internet. So you're going to select the one that is your live one, and then you're going to click OK. You're going to save. So you're going to connect to the VPN. And now when you disconnect, it's going to turn off your internet. That's the uh, basics of the application and network kill switch. So when you're torrenting and you have this network kill switch on and it disconnects, it's just going to shut off all your internet completely, not just the app. So if you like this kind of tutorial and you're interested in more tutorials like this one, come to best10vpn.com or just subscribe to this YouTube channel to see more tutorials. Thanks for your time today and take it easy and stay secure with VPN technology.